I've got another special guest now. You might remember on Monday we were talking about that outstanding achievement by the Sapphires, the under-17 Australian girls team who won the World Championship in Spain. They beat the USA in the semi-final and they became the first team since the Opals in 2006 to win a World Championship of basketball. And so joining us this morning is the star, one of the stars of the team, the star of the tournament, the MVP of the tournament, Ezzy Magbegor. And uh, Ezzy, thanks very much for your time. Uh, how are you feeling after that big achievement of winning the World Championship? Um, obviously, you might be a bit tired from the flight home from Europe, but uh, how are you going? Um, I'm really good, like, I'm still a bit shocked, like, it's, it was such a surreal experience. Um, still can't believe we won the medal, but, it, yeah, it's really exciting, and I'm sure all the other girls are still really excited as well, so... As we play some of your highlights uh, to our viewers now, you won't be able to see it, but uh, don't worry, we'll be showing some of those uh, really big, impressive blocks. Uh, your scoring was outstanding, and uh, these things are being passed around on the socials at the moment. People are, uh, are being wowed by your talent. Tell us how you got your start in basketball and uh, how it's come now to you being a 17-year-old star? Um, well, I started playing under eights when I was little and just started domestic. I didn't really think like anything of it. I just did it for fun because my brothers and sisters were playing and then um, made a few state teams. And then um, at Nationals 2014, I got a scholarship at the Australian Institute of Sport Basketball Centre of Excellence. and. Yeah, just from there, I've, um, coaches have helped me improve on my game and then I just, yeah, just got into basketball, made um, the under-19s team last year and then, yeah, obviously the under-17s Sapphires team this year. So, yeah, yeah, it's been really good. Brendan Joyce is the coach of the Opals and he's in charge of this that centre of excellence. Can, yeah. you, can you tell us about that? You, you have to obviously move out of home and mm -hmm. uh, from Melbourne and, and land there. What's it all about? Um, so we go to school up in Canberra and we live at the Institute of Sport on campus. Um, we train about six, five or six days a week and that's after school so we still go to school like a normal school day and yeah, um, and then come back during our free periods to do individual sessions with the coaches and we play half a season of Siebel so that's yes. um, a league played with um, different states around Australia. And so we played half the season before this championship and then we're finishing off our season um, in Term 3. Yep. And, yeah, that just involves um, just getting better at skills, um, coaches focusing on your game, and, yeah, it's been really good. Now, you're an outstanding team defensively. Um, Shannon Seabom, I believe, is a, is a great coach, so all of those players came together. What next for you and your teammates in the under-17s? I, I believe that um, the US uh, college recruiters would dearly love to speak to you now and woo you to their college, but what's, what's the system from now? Um, yeah, so obviously after a world championship, um, you get a lot of offers from colleges over in America, but I think just at the time, you just got to make the right decisions and talk to the right coach, coaches that'll help you along the way to make right decisions. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess yep. I'll just... And where would you like to end up, Ezzy? Um, um, probably I'm leaning towards either staying here in Australia or going to college in the US. I guess it just depends on what offers I get here and whether or not... Um, I get offered a scholarship at the school in America that I want to go to. Yeah. So I guess it just I'll just see where I go from here. Yeah, well, it sounds like the sky's the limit for you. And you're watching the Olympics too. You, uh, you might be there in another four years' time. You keep <laughs> going the way you're going. Hopefully. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you for having me.